In the vast realm of cinematic adaptations, the world of video games has often been a challenging frontier. The recent release of Gran Turismo has stirred a whirlwind of opinions, with critics from various corners weighing in on its merits and shortcomings. As I delve into the heart of these reviews, a tapestry of perspectives emerges, painting a picture that is as multifaceted as the world of racing itself. Hey everyone, it's Alvin here from Argent Ground News. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We've got a jam-packed episode for you today. Let's get started. Car and Driver, a publication deeply entrenched in the automotive world, highlights the film's commitment to authenticity. The roaring engines, the meticulous detailing of the cars, and the adrenaline-pumping races are all captured with a fervor that only true car enthusiasts can appreciate. However, they also point out the film's struggle with its narrative, suggesting that the story might not resonate as deeply with those unfamiliar with the Gran Turismo legacy. Polygon, on the other hand, delves into the human aspect of the story. The film is not just about cars and races. It's about Jan Mardenborough, a gamer whose prowess on the virtual track led him to a real-life racing career. The movie attempts to chronicle his journey, emphasizing the power of self-belief. Yet Polygon notes a certain lack of resistance in Jan's journey, making his rise seem almost too smooth, too devoid of the trials and tribulations that make for a compelling narrative. All right, folks, before we continue with the next segment, I've got a small favor to ask. I've noticed that only few hour views are coming from subscribers. If you're enjoying our content and want to hear more, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us grow, reach more people, and continue bringing you the latest from Green Ground News. And if you're already subscribed, give us a like and maybe share with a friend. Every bit of support means the world to us. Now, back to the show. The Hollywood Reporter echoes this sentiment, pointing out the film's tendency to gloss over potential conflicts and challenges. The world of professional racing is not just about skill. It's about politics, interpersonal dynamics, and the sheer mental fortitude required to navigate its treacherous waters. By sidelining these aspects, the film risks coming across as a mere highlight reel rather than a deep dive into the world it portrays. Digital Trends offers a more critical perspective, suggesting that the film, while loud and visually impressive, lacks the emotional depth to truly engage its audience. The characters, despite being portrayed by talented actors, come across as one-dimensional, their motivations and struggles barely scratching the surface of what they could have been. The film's focus on corporate endorsements and product placements further detracts from its narrative, making it feel more like a prolonged advertisement than a cinematic experience. Yet lets these critiques, there's an underlying acknowledgement of the film's technical prowess. The races are exhilarating, the sound design impeccable, and the visuals a treat for the eyes. But cinema is as much about the soul as it is about the spectacle. And it's in the weaving of its human stories that Gran Turismo seems to falter. In conclusion, Gran Turismo is a film that will undoubtedly appeal to racing enthusiasts and fans of the video game. Its technical brilliance is undeniable. However, for those seeking a deeper, more nuanced narrative, it might come across as a ride that's thrilling but ultimately lacks heart. As the lights dim and the engines roar, one is left wondering, is the journey worth the ride? And that wraps up another episode of Green Ground News. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Your support, your feedback, and your engagement keep this show alive. Remember, knowledge is power, and by staying informed, we can make a difference. Until next time, this is Alvin signing off. Stay green, stay grounded, and see you in the next episode.